What's up everyone and welcome back to some more Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle and today we are back to talk about the Omega Shenron event, the new stage, the Super 2 difficulty that was just added to awaken the new physical Omega Shenron and this is going to be an event guide for that and we are going to take a little twist on this one. We are going to be running a strength team but we're not going to be using a Super Saiyan 4 Goku lead so just give me a moment right here while I find what I'm looking for. So originally my plan with this was actually going to be to do double Omega Shenron leads but I looked for a very long time like 25 minutes and I, I could not find another Omega Shenron and I wasn't going to waste much more time after that trying to get into this so what we're going to do is we're going to do an Omega Shenron lead on our side right here because he has these these things and I knew that he was going to be a typical lead that somebody might have but might, might not have Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So we're going to be doing an all GT team. I picked to make it fair with, with the Goku that was the least buffed up in the dupe system. And Taylor and I both got enough dupes to finish Gogeta at the same time, like to 100% him. So this, I think, is Taylor's. I, I'm pretty sure when I looked it was his. It has, like, only plus 250 in the crits done. So it, it was the thing that I thought evened it out the most because I couldn't really find one that had no orbs in it. So uh, basic rundown, we're going to be doing... Super Saiyan 4 Goku, my Super Saiyan 4 Goku, level 14 crits, level 3 combos. I have all the paths open, but I need large orbs to get to the final, uh, not all the paths, but all the skills. Whoops, I forgot to turn on Do Not Disturb again. I have all, like, the skills available to buy, but I haven't actually bought them because I'm missing large orbs. This one, I plus 1300 a long, long time ago when they gave out all those free Broly orbs when I had, like, 17,000 strength orbs. I wish, wish those days were back. Trunks. I have level 20 crits on him because he obviously has attack plus 100% when performing a super attack. That was the reason I went with that instead of doing the greatly lowers defense. He does like a million damage when he crits and he does like 600k between 550 and 600k normally. And the GT link will be active during this event so it'll actually do even more. And then the filler cards, we have a GT honey pan from the B pan thing because rare chance to stun and um chance of well not a chance of but recovering damage dealt is health so that'll probably be i'd say she's going to do around like 80 percent for the most part so or 80k for the most part so it'll probably be like a free 20k heal every three turns so that's always nice and then waifu pan who does okay damage not great she's only sa1 for me but mostly there for the extra defense she increases her own defense with her super by 30 percent and then from seven turns from the start she gets a, ta a defense plus 100% boost, and I'm pretty sure that still resets every round because I don't think that patch, well, that might not be what that patch changes anyway, but we'll get into this really quick as we're going to come in with just under 200k health, which is actually kind of my hope was to not have the most health, and we are going to go to the right because it's actually going to be a, a better key path, and the other way it doesn't have like any key at all. This one doesn't look like it has a whole lot anyway, but we'll see what we can accomplish. We'll do three, and then we'll do that three. Hopefully we get a 1, but we probably won't. Alright. And actually, the, the key going to Goku is going to really help out because it's going to make the potential of putting him in the first slot a lot higher when he is paired. Because we're going to have one paired. We're going to have mine paired with the Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku if we can help it. If not, then he's stuck with the friend one. That's whatever. But anyway, so we're going to try to do this as an event guide once again. I feel like the Gogeta one worked out pretty well. And... Actually, let's rotate out mine, because he's the one that I wanted to put with GT Goku. And Omega Shenron isn't going to come until two turns. He'll be with the friend one, so that's fine. Alright, so we're going to try to do this as an event guide again. I think that Omega Shenron worked out pretty decently. So let's try to do this once again. So this first phase is going to be a fight against, I believe, Sin Shenron. I believe that's who this is, physical Sin Shenron. But I'm not entirely sure. I've rarely ever seen him Dokkan Awakened. So this is one of the two physical stages when you do the Super 2 difficulty. If you just do Z hard, this is going to be the only physical phase that you're going to go up against. But the reason that I did strength is because this is a double physical phase fight. So this is the first phase against Sin Shenron. Let's do this for Goku. And it's actually perfect because my Goku is the one with all of the extra stuff too. And the reason that I decided to do GT is because I feel like I don't do this often enough. GT is the link that makes this event like easier to beat and we almost actually almost one shot him right there. Because when characters are linked up to have the GT link active they are going to do more damage than they would normally. So as you can see one hit from Super Saiyan 4 Goku who you should use as your friend card if you're running this team and you only have an Omega Shenron that's why I did it. That's why I was actually going to run double Omega Shenron but anyway he's going to pretty much one shot him. But 
Now we're on to the agility phase, and this is going to be difficult. However, if you don't restrict yourself to fully GT, like I am right now, then you're going to actually be in somewhat decent shape because you can just use Gogeta to power through this phase. So let's actually use a King Yama right here because we have our highest defense character on the team um, up in the draw right now other than that Goku in the back slot. But I don't like this against the... I don't like this particular against the Agility Shin, Shin Shenron. So let's try to get through this fight. And I don't think we'll need defense reducing items after this. So let's get you your super. So when that pan is at SA10 or SA5 I actually think it is. The B pan. She gets her super at 8 key or 9 key excuse me. So I'm, she's not going to be something we have to prioritize key for. But and we actually made it through that turn pretty decently. And the reason that I'm using Yemmas instead of Whises is because I like to save Whises for Boss Rush. Since you can use King Yemma in back to back turns anyway it doesn't really matter all that much. I don't have very many Whises, so that's why we're doing it that way. Alright, so the Goku is actually going to have the highest defense right here. So let's toss him in the front. And then Omega, you should get your super like that. And then we'll give you all those all those orbs right there. And we're in pretty decent shape. So I'm actually pretty confident in the ability to tank right here. Because we should only take like 70. Ooh, he super attacked me actually. So we, we'll actually probably have to heal after this turn. But we're, we're not going to hope for a crit either because that is the wrong Goku to hope for a crit for. Yeah, because we're going to be at 50k damage. And we're going to get the double debuff right here, lowering the defense. And that did almost 100k, which I'm surprised about because I only have an SA1 Omega Shenron. So. And then Trunks. Ooh, Trunks got a crit. But I was going to say, Trunks is actually kind of at a disadvantage right here. But let's heal. We'll uh, actually pop a Dende because I have more Dendes and Senzus right now. So I'll try to keep them relatively even. So we, this is what I was talking about when I said that having key for Goku would help out. Because if I didn't have that three key in the front, he'd have less than four right now. And I wouldn't be in a situation where I could get him a super. Which would mean I had to put this guy in the front to tank two supers. But instead, we should pretty much be able to kill him right here. And then you can have that. And then this is what we're going to start doing with the pans. Is we're going to start rotating them out. Because they're not amazing they're definitely like the fifth and sixth units on this team that team and that unit's going to help us because in the last slot if we have to tank we can so that's going to be the most difficult phase to get through if you have an agility or if you have a strength team like i said if you decide to run gogeta then this is going to be very easy because you can probably get him in one shot i'm pretty sure i think he doesn't have very much health if he gets a crit especially well he has five health bars but we're on to the stage the strength phase omega shenron right now so as you can see, um, this Omega Shenron is going to be blocked in the back, so we are not going to be able to move him. Although that actually helps us out a little bit anyway, because he's going to tank that attack. Well, not maybe not tank, because I don't think he has super high defense. But yeah, this the, not having a double Omega Shenron, he kind of puts that Omega Shenron at a disadvantage a little bit because he doesn't quite have enough. He doesn't quite have enough health to tank that um, the way he would normally because his defense wouldn't be high enough. But we're gonna we're gonna tank two supers with Goku who defense stacks, so his defense is gonna be up an extra thirty percent. I'm only gonna give you that one because you really don't need it, and then you can have that, and perfect. So Omega Shenron can still lock in this fight. He does not lose that ability. It's called coercion. He does not lose that, and you're gonna see that Goku's doing a little bit less damage than normal. He would usually do about one point five million right there, but since we're running Omega Shenron as one lead, his he has like three quarters of his normal attacking power. And here we go. I still like the super attack animation a lot. So the big thing, other than coercion, that you have to worry about during this phase of the fight is that Omega Shenron, I believe, cannot be stunned. So keep that in mind. And this is going to kind of bonus right here because he locked Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, I didn't bring Ghost Ushers. I bought Babas instead. All right, so... Let's, let's actually Baba right here. This is normally a spot that I recommend to Ghost Usher, but it actually puts us in a pretty decent situation anyway. So I'm just going to Baba, and then you can kind of tank four attacks, I suppose, and then we'll see what our health is looking like after this turn, because I don't think we're going to be in great shape. Um, you know what? I actually might have fucked up really bad right there, because... Oh, no, we'll survive with, like, 10,000 HP, probably. I was thinking we might die there for a second, and I actually... Ooh, crit right there. I actually already had to scrap a run because I did something really stupid really early on. So, that is going to kill him right there though. 2.047 million damage. And now you are on to the final phase. So the only thing that really is negative about this phase is it has 8 health bars. And 
I was going to say, I don't have to worry about having Super Saiyan 4 Goku lock, because I'm just going to move you anyway. So, not a big deal. And then by this phase, what you're going to be in pretty good shape anyway, just because your strength and he's physical if you're running this exact team. If not, then just stick to the normal strategies of trying to get as many sealers as you can and uh, tanks and things that make a good team and put them together. This is just going to be with my particular strength team, which I would recommend because a GT it has the most GT cards. You can make a full GT strength team, which you can't really do normally. If you don't have a cover, if you're missing any of these units that I'm running right now, you can also use the SR GT Goku that's strength, and there's also the Vegeta from the summons that is strength, as well as, I believe, Hyper Meta Rildo. And Maju, those are the two units that I was missing. Hyper Meta Rildo and Maju are the other two big ones. But I'm pretty much running the best strength team that I can right now. And they locked him in the middle, which kind of sucks because I would have... Well, actually, it would have been two supers either way, or two attacks either way. So let's do that. We'll give you those, and then yeah, you should get your super attack right there. All right, perfect. So again, GT Link active, and Super Saiyan 4 Goku's defense is really building up. And honestly, like the less attack really doesn't matter, because still linked with the Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku, that guy's a monster. And there we go, 3.3 million critical. That is going to be it for the Omega Shenron event. This event, pretty solid, pr like pretty solid difficulty, but pretty, pretty easy overall. It, it might be a little bit of a challenge to you at certain points, but if you bring GT cards and or bring just a strength team, you're pretty much going to be set. The only phase you're really going to have difficulty with is going to be that phase against the Agility Omega Shenron. However, if you can somehow break his guard or just bring a Gogeta really would be my recommendation, then you'll be in pretty good shape. But I did it. I, I showed you guys finally a full event guide with an actual team that is supposed to make the event easier GT team but that's gonna do it for me thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed I don't have an Omega Shenron so I can't show you the Dokkan Awakening it's the only thing I haven't pulled out of that that I out of that uh, summon event that I really wanted but that's gonna do it for me thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for some more Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle